Well, I'm delighted to be with Mitch Murray, CBE. We just had to double check that one. We go back a few years. Well, so we do. Manx Road used to pop in. You said you were still flying off to London all the time. You were on the TV doing this, that, and other. No, nothing's changed, things. as you see. And churning out hits after hits. Yeah. Some of them are very annoying ones, but we'll come to that in a minute. Okay. But, <laughs> let's just, let's, start, nothing wrong with let's get them out of the way. There's nothing wrong with an annoying hit, actually, because it keeps in your brain and yes. makes people buy it, doesn't it? Yes, but it you, does. You did have a. In some brains. Like some people forget the dresses, you know. Can we hold this up? This is what it's all about. Mm. This is very exciting. Mitch Murray's top ten. You know, in the old days, you couldn't be on these until you passed over. Now you're okay. I know. <laughs> Maybe I'll look it. <laughs> you're doing. <laughs> we're working out ages because, as I say, we go back a long time. And I was yes. a, a kid up at the Manx Radio when just pop in. Yes, you were three. You, you're doing very and well. And I was fourteen. <laughs> Believe any of that, right? <laughs> I would like to go through these, and we'll talk about a bit of your life at the same time. Certainly. Okay. Yes. So, Isle of Man stamps have produced these, which I think look beautiful. Yeah. The designs are absolutely superb. And did you have some you know, input? Did you it was a lady called Emma who, who works over here and is associated with the uh, Manx Post Office for, many, for these um, fabulous designs, and she is superb. I'm going to hold it up there next year. Yeah. I, I had the idea when we uh, talked about it at, at Manx IOMPO, mm -hmm. as we call it in the business, <laughs> and uh, we were talking about it the first meeting we had, and I thought to myself, how do we get across a whole career on 10 little stamps like that and get the information across on the stamps? And I thought, sheet music. Now, this you Brilliant. really don't see anymore. Sheet music, I don't think people even make it anymore. No. But in, in the days when I was um, you know, starting out, well, the, uh, right, uh, right, until the, uh, my, you know, right until most of the hits were right. fizzling away, Sheet music was there. It gives you the title. It gives you the there's color. There's the artist. And, Jerry the uh, pacemakers. Jerry and the pacemakers. And That's a great song. And there's the Beatles bootleg version. That oh, one. Right. <laughs> do you still see you know, some income from these Sorry? songs? Do you still chat cool, out. What do you think, like, what do you think I'm doing here? <laughs> Working in the kitchens. <laughs> so the bar he's got right here. That's no, nice you story. do. It's a, right. Um, if you if you got international hits, you yeah. tend to get money for it. That's fantastic because I don't know there's much money in it these days. Every song's no. been done. You were lucky, were you? Yeah. You were there to. No, no. I mean, I, I don't know what. Well, in fact, I am writing these days. Still just, writing. No, just wrote specially for the stamp. You want to hear about it? Oh, go on. Shall I tell him? Well, we got the okay apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind is off screen yeah. there, right? Yeah. What, you you you've done a song. I've written, written a piece of music, oh, wow. it's symphonic and it's pop and my daughters who are West End stars, both of them, are guest vocalists on it. Oh. It's called The Man in Suite and it's all about the Fairy Bridge. Oh. And the only way you can hear it is to get onto a stamp and there's a little code embedded. Clever. And you hear. Clever. So that's Still it. Still a few more stamps. Mm? So oh, stamps. well, I mean... Right. We haven't got all day, so let's move along, because you've got ten of these. This one, come on. You made me have all day. I know. Yeah, so what do you need to know? Oh, this is Freddie and the Dreamers, yep. and that's me at the top with them in Denmark Street, Timpan Alley. Which one are you? In London. I'm the good-looking one at the top, just under no entry. That's you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Photoshop. No, glasses, joking. please. Glasses. <laughs> Wow. Okay, yes. That's great. Okay. That's um, it, right. How much is that one? Are there prices on this? Well, I don't know. Get the whole set, obviously. Mm. There's a special Are you sure there. they're in the right order? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are. 1965, this was uh, Down Came the Rain. That was a picture taken ABC television when I was uh, doing it. And I, I did, um, I had, they, they fitted in uh, showers <laughs> above. And as I came to Down Came the Rain, <laughs> showers open up and and they that's you that's me um in the back are lady harp players and one of them had to be taken off the set because the, wa the water was distressing can't her. do that anymore <laughs> they can't do anything anymore, ah, can't, do anything anymore. <laughs> can't do anything right. anymore is this you no it's no, georgie fame just double checking because <laughs> i was going to say <laughs> you've changed a bit Sorry. oh georgie fame I, the I'm, here, I'm here to help the disabled and the short-sighted <laughs> Well, oh, Ballad of Bonnie that's the Ballad of Bonnie and Clyde. Right. That's Georgie Fame, um, and uh, what you can't see is a machine gun that he's carrying because it had a lot of uh, uh, gu guns and blood and guts in many of my songs. But um, Her Majesty the Queen has to approve these stamps I'm before sure. they're out. She doesn't like the guns. What year was this? This was sixty-eight. It's on the side of the stamp, actually. If you can see there. Oh yeah, you're yeah. Right. correct. I'm just testing you. So otherwise, I'd never know. Okay. 
What year? I'm going to break it out. What year is this? This is several years. <laughs> <laughs> I, got I got the answer. Then, yeah. Do you know what the answer? What? What year is this? What year is that? No, tell me. You don't know. 1971. Correct. I know. <laughs> yes. You're Someone right. just told me it's on that's the right. side. And this that's one of those weird interviews, by the way. That's one of my cu <laughs> uh, one of my cufflinks because oh. we, you know, that's one of the things with sods on it from yeah. the wow. uh, from the, the initials Society of Distinguished Songwriters. And there's a few of them. Because you've got two Ivan Novello awards, haven't you, in your yes. time? Yes. That's pretty, pretty You've been impressive. researching. That's a change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite impressed. I don't myself, actually. Right, this one is I'll let you off. Oh, 69, so I'm not in the right order after all that. You, may, you put in the wrong order. 69, we've gone backwards a bit. Okay. Um, no, not really. That was 71. No, 71. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. okay. Anyway, yeah, Hitching a Ride and oh. Even the Bad Times are Good. Is that Hitching a Ride? Yep. Do you get money for that? Of it. course. Oh, you think I'm, it. Sorry, you think I'm here for love? <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, Tony Christie. Tony Christie. Oh. Every one of those. It's, um, I, I did, did what, what I did for I did Maria. Did. Maria. That was so number one. Catchy. Las Vegas. Um, it was his first rec hit, hit with us. Mm -hmm. Avenues and Alleyways, which is everybody's favourite, but not enough people buy it. It was on a TV <laughs> show as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was the, uh, the theme song for, for The Protectors. Oh. Right. Yeah. That was kind of an interesting show. How is my left side? Is this all right? You're still in frame, still Good. running, haven't been cut off. <laughs> Good. Right, next okay. one. Yes. This is 74. One of my, one of my Ivor Novello oh, awards. Oh, right. Is that what they look yeah. like? I've never seen them. That's what they look mm. like, yep. You got and two. Pardon? You got two of them. And when you, when you tilt it like that, it goes... <laughs> are they in your loo or something? Have you put them somewhere like that? Are no. they actually here, are they, or in the safe? They're in, inside in my, uh, mm, nice. in my study. Lovely. I mean, seriously, I mean... With armed me. guards on each side. You can't <laughs> knock all these songs. Billy, Don't Be A Hero. Mm. Do you want to tell me about any of this? Paper Num songs? Listen, I'll tell you just two things. Billy, Don't Be A Hero, number one. Mm. Night Chicago died, number one. Mm. That's all you need to know. Very impressive. <laughs> I'm running out of superlatives. Oh, yes. here we go. Well, this is well how about mo modest? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have that one in your dictionary. <laughs> Try and find that one. 1984. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this was generally, I was doing a lot of sort of uh, comedy work, uh, and I was doing some stuff for British Telecom. There used to be um, a telephone service, 160. You would dial 160. Dial disc? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, I did it. And I, on a phone I used to present, the, yeah. At one point, I was re representing all the records on 160. People phoned. What it was designed to do, although they'd never admit this, is that people sitting in an office who were a bit bored, uh, they would use the company money to press 160, listen to all this music while they were working. Can you believe that? Dial a disc on a phone. Making the phone, yeah. And, uh, so, and I, so I wrote a theme song for it. Yeah. This is on. This is 160, where the music says, hello, welcome to the disc line, something like that. And I did, um, oh no, let me, well, let, me, let me think, because it's worth... Um, oh. It's very annoying. Oh, can you guess where this is coming from? Quite right, it's British Telecom. Telecom. And everybody's welcome. Music in your ear, old dialer disc. Da -da 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 -da. Very yeah. annoying, very annoying. Well, thank you. That's what I specialise <laughs> in. The last one. The last one. <laughs> no, I could never compare oh, to you, however. This one is for 64 to 2020. Fairy Bridge. This is, this is general, stuff. general stuff. There's a picture of the Fairy Bridge, which represents the piece of music on the stamps. Um, and you wrote, made a book, How to how Write to, a Hit Song. Well, that was my first book. And uh, Sting was 15 and read it, and it inspired no. him. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> you've got all sorts of stuff. And then he, um, when I wrote um, um, the Terrified Speaker book, um, he wrote the foreword for me. So, you've touched we are. a lot of people's lives. I know. You've had a charmed life, would you say? I apologise for that. Are you, do you make your own luck, or you know, how, how, looking back on it, always sort of thing? Luck, you need so much luck. And I am right place, right time. quite lucky, yeah. Mm. I must say I am lucky, but I'm quite good at it as well, I think. Mm. So, you know, if you get, there are a lot of people better than me who haven't made it and won't. Mm. It just works out like that. Yeah. And do the tunes still keep coming? Well, you said you've got this one. When I've got something in mind, yeah, to to aim for, but I can't just write a song because it's a song. I used to think in terms of, well, when you're a commercial writer, you have to know where the money is going to come from. Yeah. Otherwise, you do, nobody pays you if you don't have the hits. And um, so the first thing you do is you think, who's in the charts? Who's having success, you know? Oh, 
oh, Herman's Hermits are doing very well, let's think of something. So we would write for them and offer them that song. If they turned it down, we'd go to Cliff Richard, something like that, so some, something similar. You have a starting point. What's your favourite record you've actually produced yourself? Can't Probably. they're like babies, you can't, you you can't, can't pick, pick out your children. Which one's made the most money for you? I bet you know that one. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that varies all the time. Every three months I'm given statements. And Freeman. sometimes it's how do you do it, mm -hmm. sometimes it's how I like it. Down Came the Rain occasionally makes all the money because in Italy it's been covered as a straight song, as yeah. a straight, you know, yeah. pop song. Do you think there's a musical in here somewhere, all your music combined, you know, the, that one of those things they yeah. do for... No. Well, you got tons of hits, you easily yeah. can... Well, you're not going to right. accept my answer. No. Mm -hmm. No, I can't There'll see There'll be residuals that. in it for you. Maybe that might change your mind. There we are. What a lovely thing. Yes, of course I'll do it. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I'll I mean, have to think about it. It's been it's I'll great do it. catching up with you. I want to just give a plug, yeah. though, to the old man post office. Cause now, they've been wonderful. That's, that's, that's called the top ten. They've got the best book. designers. Let's have a quick what? look at this book. Yeah, I've got you, a booklet. You can buy the set. Thank you. The and there's a CD uh, EP as well with four hits on it. And oh, me right. introducing them all. Really? Yeah. Excellent. In fact, there's not room for anything else. <laughs> well, this is going out on the 16th, which this is the is day bit, of release, I believe. It's a little bit like an autobiography in a way, because oh. uh, because I, I comment on the stamps, and that really means that it's so, it's I'm talking about this uh, so crazy the, the career. The last big question, how do you want to be remembered? Um, as a man who just wouldn't die. <laughs> He well, lived forever. It, that's not he died quite. at the age of 205. Well, they were doing very well for 25 or whatever he Thank says you. he is. <laughs> Come on, what, what do you want to be remembered for there? A particular song or, or, or just, you know? Fun, yeah. colour. Those stamps actually say it all. Yeah. When I saw them myself, I thought, that's actually me. And there's, uh, I'm, I shun nuance. I have colour in the, in, in the, you know, it's just interesting stuff to look at. How, so, about, how living in the Alamando? Yeah, for you, you've been here. I've been for, here half my life. What, what do you, I mean, what makes you stay here? Don't say tax or something like that. What, no, of course not. That might help. But what? I, seriously, I, you I like the old man? Do you? Hmm? you like yeah, the old man? I do. And the uh, and the, the the man in suite, you know, the song that's written for this yeah. uh, thing. That was in a way, it's autobiographical because my daughters lived here too. They're singing on the song, and when they were kids, they went to Oncom Primary. And uh, Mr. Cretney was the headmaster, and it was lovely. Every the ladies and gentlemen, all the kids were little ladies and gentlemen. So the girls actually had a very good little, you know, uh, early education there. And we used to drive by the fairy bridge, and we used to say hello, fairies, and we, you know. So in a way, it was lovely. So they had to play themselves as children in this record. It's a little bit. The record is like a movie, except you don't see it; yeah. you you hear it. Um, so. Yeah, we are. Okay. Well, Mitch Murray, CB, I I'll fill in the forms and make you a sir, I think. I think you deserve it. Jolly good idea. You fancy it? Fancy that? Oh, well, I wouldn't kick it out. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. It's lovely to see you again, Paul. <laughs> Thank you.